Hello friends, my name is Akhil Gupta and in this video we are going to see what the sections we have to modify in this uh, uh, application that we have created in last video. So last video we have just created a simple hello world application and this video we will see we will see what the code we need to modify to load our website inside this Android application. So let's have a look once again. Right, so we have uh, this activity underscore main dot XML. We have main activity dot Java and it's strings dot XML. So let's uh, start with uh, activity underscore main dot XML first. So first uh, we don't require this text view because we uh, have to load the web view. So we will create one web view here. We need to give one Android ID. So that based on this ID, we will uh, uh, load this the URL for this web view. And same is uh, we have to give layout width, layout height. There will be fill parent, match parent. So in our case, we will use fill parent. Right, so that is for web view. Now we may need uh, one progress bar because uh, uh, we need to show uh, if page is loading. So progress bar is required. So we will add this uh, web view and this progress bar. So only these two things is required for our activity underscore main dot XML. It's same, there. same like uh, web view. We have to give the ID for progress bar also. So for uh, I, I just say uh, we didn't change any other thing. We are just adding web view and progress bar inside uh, activity underscore main dot XML. For progress bar, we have different styles so that you can use uh, whatever you want. So here in my case, I will use this. same height and width are here for uh, progress bar also right so that's uh, that's it our activity underscore main dot xml is completed now we will go forward for main activity dot java there we have to load this uh, wave view based on id what uh, we already gave in uh, activity underscore main dot xml so here this is a shared content view here we are loading this activity underscore main dot xml through lines that contain view r dot layout activity underscore main so let's see our uh, web view my web view and uh, we will uh, uh, load we will take this web view by its id right so id is already a web view Right, great. So uh, this web view is already loaded, and now we have to uh, use uh, it to this to load the our, our custom URL. Here we have done this casting web view because this is a web view type, so casting is required here. So same like uh, wave view, we have to find uh, uh, that uh, progress bar ID also.
UI so this way we have loaded this uh, web view and progress bar in our main activity dot Java yes we have to define this local variable as a rush swing Just uh, moving it to top of the class so that we can use this p bar in other section also other methods also we have imported this uh, we just uh, made this mistake progress b is capital right so that's it our web view and progress bar is loaded here uh, here okay call requires API level 11 so this uh, call this API level is defined in our uh, mean first dot XML file so let's go there and uh, change it to 8 to 11 right now error, error went right so that's it web view and pbar is loaded now we have to load the our website url inside this web view we are using this web view for loading the external URL so we have to uh, wrote this line get settings uh, dot set uh, JavaScript enable true so for loading URL we just need to get dot low web view dot load URL and our domain name in my case I was I'm putting HTTP HTTP call uh, com as my site So that's it. Now it should load the URL if I run this project. But it's not yet completed because uh, other things we have to do. Yeah, one thing I just missed. Uh, in mainfest.xml, we have to give permission to, for, to this app to access the internet also. To access to the permission, I will write user hyphen permission. It's Android name. And write our permission dot internet. So now our application can use the internet for from the device. Right. So now our application is ready to load this URL. Let's see. Let's run this project and see how it works. So our my tab is already connected, and let's see the output. So progress bar is showing. One thing I'll tell you, we just uh, display the progress bar. We are not hiding it. So for now, it will display forever. So we have to work on that. We have to hide this progress bar as uh, when the website is loaded, as it's not uh, hiding right now. So that's great. My website is loaded inside the web view uh, using this uh, inside this Android application. So, but uh, of course we have to do some more work. We have to uh, positioning this uh, uh, progress bar. We have to hide this. We have to uh, give exit menu also. And along with right now, if you will click on any URL, it will load in external browser. So we have to give permission to load the website URL inside the application. And if it's an external URL, then we have to load in outside the application. So, so, the, so that's it. In the next video, we will see how it will work and how to add those conditions to make our application fully compatible with this. Right? Thanks. Thanks for watching.